In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my meta predictions in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to basically do everything that I can to help you get better at Madden, to help you take your game to the next level. I do that through a variety of different ways. One of the ways I do that is through talking about the latest Madden news. And in today's video, we are looking at what are my top three to five predictions for the meta in the upcoming Madden. So uh, those of you guys that are excited for Madden 21, I am as well. And one of the things that really I think is going to be very, very significant as far as meta goes is I think it's going to be really, really inc incredibly important to learn how to master the pocket, to learn how to move in and out of the pocket, to learn how to make reads from the pocket. I don't think rolling out with the quarterback is going to be as significant as it was this year. I think it will still be significant. I just don't think it will be as significant as it was this year. I mean, this year by far, to me, um, if you didn't have a, uh, a mobile uh, quarterback, you know, it was kind of difficult to really move the ball, at least in my opinion, unless you had like a really, really good um, two tight end type of set that you could pick up pressure. Well, in the coming uh, Madden 21 game, I think that pocket passers are actually going to make a return. And that's why I predict that predicted that Aaron Rodgers, at least for my offense and the way that I run the game, is going to be the best quarterback for me in Madden 21. Now, the second thing that I would say um, as far as predicting the meta and what do I see happening in Madden 21 is I see defense shifting from a blitz seven meta like this year. It was all about blitzing pretty much as many people as possible because it was so difficult to get the ball out and it was so difficult to have routes that actually got open uh, against those those heavy 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 pressure defenses well in madden 21 i expect an entire flip of that meta and i would think that what you're going to see is you're going to see blitzing from depth come back right you're going to see the crossfire blitzes you're going to see um the delayed pressures right i think you're going to have a good two to three seconds in the pocket this year that's also kind of why i'm saying that i think pocket passers are going to be so critical critical but i also think that um you're going to need to have a lot of zones on the field to take away a lot of things and so i'm going to say max coverage to me is going to be actually critical and i'm predicting that the nickel three through five normal is going to be the way to run defense in next year's game um you see here i'm getting some some labbing in with it in this game but it's okay in madden 21 or madden 20 i think in madden 21 it's going to literally be the defense i think you're either going to run nickel three three five odd with the crossfire blitzes or you're going to run nickel three five normal and run the max coverage and the looping pressures that you can use uh, out of that specific defense so those are a couple of my um, predictions as far as madden uh, 21 goes now my next prediction as far as the meta in madden 21 is going to be i believe and this is just my personal opinion but i believe that the um, inside zone runs are going to make a resurgence. I think the outside zone, the stretch style runs have been really effective for years. The inside zone runs, you get random block shed or you know, shoot the gap here or there. I think you're going to see a return of shotgun runs. Um, this year was kind of the year of the like pro set personnel like if you wanted to run two back this was really truly one of the best years to run a two back based offense i think next year you're going to see a lot more three wide again i think you're going to see inside zone really come back as that run and i also think you're going to see off of the inside zone i think rpo schemes are going to be much much better next year because what people are going to be able to do is number one i think you're going to be able to get the rack animation to get the ball upfield so those little flat passes are going to be more significant because you're going to be able to take your flats and if the defense is, is not honoring the bubble screens like those bubble screens i would like to see those work better now again we've been waiting for bubble screens to work kind of like they're supposed to work for years in madden and we've yet to get that but i really believe in next year's game you're going to see because of the fact that the flats are going to work a little bit better next year i think the um quick bubble screens the quick routes like that out of an rpo are actually going to be very very significant and then the last thing that i have to say as far as my predictions of the meta is i think again it's going to be a very coverage based defensively i think offensively it's going to be very much so uh, a return to you know the air attack 
heavy passing attack. Offenses are going to be significant. But I also think that spread offenses, and this was actually why we wrote an entire book on the spread offense and the 3-5 defense. I think the spread offense is going to be really, really effective in next year's game because of the fact that the user is not going to be able to control as much as he was in this year's game. And so what that means is because you're spread out, if you run four verticals from a spread formation, it's a lot different than running four verticals from a compressed formation, right? Four verticals from a spread formation is going to open up passing lanes because of the physical space of the receivers. So my prediction in Madden 21 is that the because of the spread sets that you're that that I like to run um, and that we've broken down in our competitors guide, I think you're going to see people have a lot more success with like shotgun doubles. Um, there actually was a year. Um, there was a year a couple years back, and and really it's been a good it's been a good offense pretty much every year but a couple years back specifically it was a really good offense and that was the trips tight end because you got that spread uh style set the crossing routes are really effective now i don't know if crossing routes are going to be the meta but i think that um i i really believe that the streaks the verticals the four vertical style of a passing attack is going to be meta and that's why i did a whole video breaking down the four verticals concept and some tags that you can do to make it more effective so you can check that out um towards the end of this video but last thing, guys, is if you want to take your game to the next level and you really want to improve in Madden, my channel is truly devoted to doing that for you. So, again, you can join my Discord. That's going to keep you up to date with all of the latest things that I have coming out in Madden. We have a whole community over there with a ton of people who are putting a lot of work in to helping people get better, answering questions, setting up lab games for people. It's been really awesome to see um, the community just come together and help each other grow and help each other get better because again you are the average of the five people that you associate with most and so that discord is designed to get you associated with some better competition some better players in the madden world so i want to thank you guys so much for your support and again if you want to take your next step and you want to get better at madden i want to encourage you right now to join the discord don't wait another day to do it and uh, if you're already joined to the discord consider picking up a guide or uh, consider just um Picking up, um, picking up some people in the Discord, running some lab games, um, doing that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and we will see you guys in the next one. You can continue the conversation by clicking one of the videos that are going to pop up right about now, and we'll see you in the next video.